I want to start with the spirit of America and what makes American, Americanism so unique and special and uh, why people all over the world look to us, look to America as a model. And I don't think today, and this is weird for me to say this, but I think this is true if you, if you get what I'm saying properly, right? The spirit of America, right? I don't think anybody today represents the spirit of America out there in the public as a public figure right now in the last, I don't know, couple of years that anybody represents the spirit of America more right now than Elon Musk. Elon Musk is, even though he's not American originally, he's from South Africa, represents the quintessential American spirit. And you get it in this Twitter exchange. And this is just, it makes, it makes, you know, it's inspiring. This is inspiring. Um, this is from the, I don't know, the, the Minister of the Interior of Ukraine tweets this 11 hours ago. See, 11 hours ago, uh, Mikhailo Fedorov, which is Minister of something in Ukraine, tweets, Elon Musk, while you try to colonize Mars, Russia try to occupy Ukraine. While your rockets successfully land from space, Russian rockets attack Ukrainian civil people. We ask you to provide Ukraine with stalling stations and to address sane Russians to stand. I, I, I guess to ask, the, I'm not sure what that means, maybe to ask the Russians to stand up to Putin. But we ask you provide Ukraine stalling stations. 10 hours later, Elon Musk tweets, Starlink service is now active in Ukraine, more terminals en route. That is all you have to know right now, for now, about Elon Musk, right? He gets shit done. And he gets it done super fast. And he gets it done for the right cause. And he doesn't have to ask permission from anybody. He didn't get a, have to get authorization yet in the United States of America from anybody. He just got it done. You want Starlink? Sure, you're the good guys. We'll get you Starlink. <laughs> I love it. I don't know. It's, it's stuff like that about Elon Musk just makes you, um, um, it makes you, <laughs> makes you love this country and makes you love that spirit and makes you love that can-do attitude and that, I, I, you know, I'm, yeah, I'm just going to do it. I'm going to go to Mars. I'm going to get rockets up in the air and reuse them. Uh, I'm going to fail. I don't care about failing. And hey, there's a country in need that asked for Starlink. Yeah, 10 hours later, they got it. No problem. We're on this. So I think that's pretty cool. Hopefully, you do too. Um, that is American spirit. That's the can-do attitude of American spirit. That's the we can do anything. Uh, it's an American spirit, right? Oh, for those of you who don't know, Starlink. Starlink are uh, satellites uh, that provide uh, basic internet connection. So uh, you don't need, uh, you don't need um, uh, Wi-Fi. You don't need uh, cables. You just connect to the Starlink satellites. I don't know how it works exactly in the sense of, I don't know what you need. Maybe there's an app. I, I, I really don't know. But there is a way. Um, you know, you just you just get it from the satellite. So while Russia is knocking out internet service to the Ukrainians, hacking their service, trying to shut it down, although the hacking has been pretty pathetic, but um, hacking in, shutting down internet service providers, maybe destroying the uh, the, the the cell towers in Ukraine, they're not going to get Elon Musk satellites, and therefore the Ukrainians will have satellite connection no matter what. Um, because of Elon Musk. So uh, that's what Starlink is. Starlink is the network of satellite in the sky. And, and Il Musk's company, uh, SpaceX, has been putting up tens of thousands of these satellites uh, up in the air. Um, this, I mean, I, I think the satellites up in the air is going to be a game changer long term for authoritarians. It's going to, it's, you know, the Chinese won't have control over uh, people's internet if those people can access Starlink. 
uh, uh, occupying countries like Russia won't be able to knock out the internet if that country has a connection to Starlink. So it is truly a game changer, I think, in terms of the ability of the authoritarian regimes to use technology, uh, both to monitor their people and uh, to control them and, and everything else. Imagine if your internet in China is not connected through the stuff that the Chinese monitors, but through Starlink and therefore is bypassing all the Chinese servers. I think that is possible. So, you know, those of you who know the technology better than I do, this is a revolution. Yeah, North Korea, of course, they, they, you need a terminal. You need something that can, that can receive the signals. I don't know that the North Koreans have that, but we could smuggle those things in for them. So um, it is a game changer, uh, and, and, and it, brings a, it brings a tear to my eye to read a story like that where, where, where Elon Musk can just fulfill their, their needs like that. That is, um, that is amazing. Yeah, uh, Action Jackson, maybe you can make a, a one-minute video of, of uh, my, my little tribute there to Elon Musk and Starlink, um, although it's more than a, a minute video. Maybe you can make a short video of that. All right. Thank you for listening or watching The Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbrookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see The Iran Brooks Show grow, please consider sharing our content, and of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.